Okay, welcome back for Leviticus chapter 3. All right, verse 1. Now if his offering, referring to the priests, is a sacrifice of peace offerings, if he is going to offer um, out of the herd, whether male or female, he shall offer it without defect before the Lord. He shall lay his hand on the head of his offering and slay it at the doorway of the tent of meeting. You remember that back from Exodus. And Aaron's sons, the priests, shall sprinkle the blood around on the altar. So this was inside the tabernacle court, but before going into the main building, also known as the tent of meeting. Um, and remember, the, the altar was in the courtyard outside. Verse 3. From the sacrifice of the peace offerings, he shall present an offering by fire to the Lord. The fat that covers the entrails and all the fat that is on the entrails, and the two kidneys with the fat that is on them, which is on the loins, on the lobe of the liver, which he shall remove with the kidneys. Verse 5. Then Aaron's sons shall offer it up in smoke on the altar on the burnt offering, which is on the wood that is on the fire. It is an offering by fire, a soothing aroma to the Lord. But if his offering for a sacrifice of peace offerings to the Lord is from the flock, he shall offer it, male or female, without defect. If he is going to offer a lamb for his offering, then he shall offer it before the Lord. And he shall lay his hand on the head of his offering and slay it before the tent of meeting. And Aaron's sons shall sprinkle its blood around on the altar. Verse 9. From the sacrifice of peace offerings, he shall bring as an offering by fire to the Lord. Its fat, the entrail fat tail, which he shall remove uh, close to the backbone, and the fat that covers the entrails, and all the fat that is on the entrails, and the two kidneys with the fat that is on them, which is on the loins, and the lobe of the liver, which he shall remove with the kidneys. Then the priest shall offer it up in smoke on the altar as food an offering by fire to the Lord. Moreover, if his offering is a goat, then he shall offer it before the Lord, and he shall, he shall lay his hand on its head and slay it before the tent of meeting. And the sons of Aaron shall sprinkle its blood around on the altar. Verse 14. From it he shall present his offering as an offering by fire to the Lord, the fat that covers the entrails and all the fat that is on the entrails, and the two kidneys with the fat that is on them, which is on the loins, and the lobe of the liver, which he shall remove with the kidneys. The priest shall offer them up in smoke on the altar as food, an offering by fire for, this, for a soothing aroma. All fat is the Lord's. It is a perpetual statute throughout your generations and all your dwellings. You shall not eat any fat or any blood. Okay, so the peace offering symbolizes the peace and fellowship between the true worshiper and God um, as a voluntary offering. It was the third free will offering resulting in a sweet aroma to the Lord. It symbolized the fruit of redemptive reconciliation between a sinner and God. And as we'll see with other Mosaic legislation, there are health benefits received from their instruction as well. Okay, moving on. See you tomorrow. God bless you.